from D-Day to the Battle of the Bulge, on to Korea, wounded so many times they wrote a book about him. How in the world did Tommy Gwynn survive? He's the Lone Ranger. A modest home on a quiet street in Tullahoma. You would never guess this household's treasure. His name is Tommy Gwynn. Five feet eight. He was ready for us, wearing a handmade American flag shirt, a laminated biography, and his Chevalier medal that makes him a French knight. Talk about Jesus. Lieutenant Tommy Gwynn was ready to tell his story. I become a ranger, third season ranger, and I've been a ranger ever since. Mr. Gwynn was born with only part of a tongue, but that disability did not slow the Army Ranger, who they called Little Horse, because of his stamina, durability, and strength. Lieutenant Gwynn was wounded 24 times. Two gunshots to the hand left nerve damage for life. There was the bayonet up his nose, a bludgeoning with the butt of a rifle. The North Koreans attempted to hang him with his own belt. The problem was they couldn't figure out how to open it. I wasn't gonna help him. Oh, oh my gosh, I bet you weren't gonna help <laughs> I didn't want to go do, I wasn't gonna help him. Gwynn escaped one North Korean capture by jumping off a waterfall. He escaped a second capture by jumping off a mountain. The South Koreans were so impressed with his 24 battle wounds they wrote a book about him. And this was all after his storied career in World War II. D-Day, the Battle of the Bulge. Gwyn's Army Ranger missions were so successful in World War II, he was given a battlefield commission by General Omar Bradley. Never yes. been a ranger like me. Never will be. Then Bradley said that. Gwyn is the type of soldier you might be tempted to call fearless, but that's not true. He likes to tell people he was scared just once. I was scared one time from the time I left here till I come back. I was scared. Yeah. You got that. Scared from D-Day until the end of the Korean War every hour of every day. Quinn was born in Fayette County in Tennessee, but wound up in Tullahoma raising a family as a handyman and prison minister. He still fixes things around the house at 102. He has so many medals, 40, some are still in boxes but not two silver stars and a bronze star, three medals for bravery above and beyond the call of duty. In fact, for Tommy Gwynn, they were above and beyond him. All this here, I didn't do it. The Holy Spirit did it in my body. He did it in my body. Gwynn gives all the credit to God and pinpoints his courage to a Bible verse, John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Gwyn believed that with all his heart, and though he never did die for his friends, he sure came close. It was a joy meeting Mr. Gwyn. We hope you enjoyed meeting him as well. Thank you for your service, sir. We will always be in your debt. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.